few weeks ago, I was contacted on Instagram with a DM by someone, a guy, asking me if I wanted to try a new brewer that he developed and also give him some feedbacks before the launching date. Of course, I was interested about this because I always like to try new brewers, new brewing methods. We managed to arrange a meeting, even because he lives in London like me, and I have to say that after a few brews, the dripper became one of my favorite. And I'm talking about Orea, this little flat bottom brewer. The shape is very similar to the Kalita 155, that is one of my favorites as well. And uh, so that's why it caught my attention. The major difference between the Kalita 155 and the Orea is uh, the bottom. The Kalita has three small holes in the bottom, when Orea has a single hole in the middle and a ring. The flow with this brewer is, uh, is really fast. Uh, the brewer is made of aluminium and has a very good heat re retention and uh, wait, let's see if Horia, the creator of Horea, is available for, for a chat with me and tell us more about this dripper and about its story. I'm, I'm gonna call him now. Hey man, how are you doing? Hey, not too bad, just at home. Okay, uh, listen, I am making a video about Orea. Nice. Um, listen, uh, what are you doing today? Are you free for a chat? Yeah, I'm free. <laughs> All right. Listen, uh, should we meet at the park in one hour? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, uh, should we make some coffee as well? Always. Always. Cool, man. Uh, see you in a bit, okay? See you, man. Bye. Bye. Cool. Let's go. Too bad. Let's brew some coffee. Yeah, man, let's do it. And we're gonna go, it's not, it's gonna be 22 clicks. 22? <laughs> Never put a five each other. 22 clicks, man, like I go all the time over 25. It's gonna, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Two hours later. <laughs> That's what they say. That's very fast. In my backpack, I have an even faster brewer. Yeah, you see that. We're not gonna put this in the video because uh, because it's top secret. Cheers. Cheers, man. Coffee brewed with Orea by the creator of Orea. It must taste amazing. It's like ice. No, no. The ice is good. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. No, it's um, it's good, man. It's very fruity. How did you come up with this brewer? Yeah. 
the first, the first, I, I, I used to work on a different brewer. All oh, right. That was a foldable, I, sh I should have brought one. But I didn't. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a foldable brewer made from a plastic material. Okay. That folded up really small, really light, and you can put it in a pocket. Okay. And so I, from the beginning, I was thinking about how to make a, a brewer that travel, travels well, packs well. Yes. And is very lightweight. And mm -hmm. I started there three years ago, actually. I spent about two years making that one. Almost launched it. And when I went on a bike trip last summer at the beginning of June, I realized that probably there's a better solution, that, mm -hmm. that, that maybe something that's not just packable but works really well day to day but packs very well when you travel okay um might be a better solution and, right. and there was a few pitfalls with what i was doing because that one was like super light and plasticky and like if, if the wind was blowing yeah you know, th there was some pitfalls for sure and and i realized that i had all these things with me you know i had cups i yes. had pots with with gas canisters and stuff okay like that. and i realized that actually what what might be even better is just something that's really packable so it can fit in your cup yes it can fit in your camping pot it can fit yeah. anywhere and and just completely stop working on the other brewer that i was working on and okay. started going in this direction and and i forgot exactly what what sparked it but i think the whole idea of putting it in the cup or putting it in yeah. the pot came first and then i started researching a bit more saw these Kalitas and, and especially the 155 Kalita. Yes, exactly. And saw the size, but the Kalitas are not very packable. You know? yeah. So I, I wanted that form factor, um, but actually in a much smaller package that, okay. that also brews really good coffee. With the idea that I want something sturdy, high quality, and really good day to day, uh, because most of the coffees I make are every day, but then I also want to have a coffee when I go on a bike ride or when yes. I go travel. Right. Yeah. So I just wanted to get as close as possible into that perfect intersection of okay. all those things that I like to do with coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> makes sense, makes sense, yeah. makes sense. The first versions had holes like a Kalita. Okay. And, you know, you start somewhere that's familiar. Yes, and yes. I started brewing with that and I just wasn't happy with, with okay. what came out, you know? Yeah. And kept exploring different ways to approach something like this to get faster I didn't know at the time to be honest I didn't know all the terminology around this I, knew, okay. I mean I I could understand that a faster flow and kind of what I was getting on a V60 mm -hmm. gives a different profile than what I was getting on this Kalitas for example or in my first version with little holes and I, I wasn't getting what I wanted from the cup and I just kept trying other things like make bigger holes and <laughs> that, that wasn't very good either actually um, and I ended up with this design with the first one with the rings where I felt in that one I was already getting faster speeds I was getting much better tasting coffee for me and also less fussy so it was more forgiving when you're like outside okay. for example yeah. the V1 okay yeah. that we don't have here yeah. um, uh, so there was like just the the um, the drain here on the side just the right yeah and there was a kind of like um pointy like a, a how do you call it <laughs> i called it a bump a bump <laughs> and a bump what did you think about that before to switch on the the second version i liked it a lot actually uh for me that that was already really good, good it yeah. gave me a good outcome in, in the cup i liked the profile i liked the speed i liked a lot of stuff about it um and, and what i wanted to do I've seen a few brewers use this, the bump approach, yes. <laughs> and the idea is quite simple, right? You have, if you raise the bed up a little bit, you're going to force the water to drain, to drain. on the sides. Yes. But also, probably, you're losing some of the benefits of a flatbed brewer, and that's why I removed it, because you're taking a nice flat bed and you're making it not flat. Yes, I see. Just so the yeah. water can flow faster. but. What's better is, which is why I changed it, was one day, I'm just, just randomly thinking about it, like, okay, I'm losing all these flatbed benefits. Is there a way to make it flow just as fast or faster without having to have that bump that ruins the flatbed? And probably then the, the outcome is gonna be even better. Mm -hmm. And, but I was happy with it though. So it was, I was really 
sure that I was going to launch with that version. Yes. I ordered 40 okay. and that was going to be my stock to sell to the first customers. Yeah. Like I, I never had a plan to send these to people or whatever actually. I wanted to just sell the for, first 40 and then got this idea for the new design. And just thought it was so much better. <laughs> and because it was so much better, I couldn't sell those 40 to people at the time and I decided I would rather send them for feedback and understand if there's other things that I can fix, see what people think about the size, see what th people think about the performance in general even on that version 1 because it did make good coffee while I prepared for the new version and launched with the new one. Just yeah, pretty pretty risky somehow uh, but I'm still happy that I did it that way. Yeah, that's good man. Yeah. Then, I'm a bit more confident with what I send people. Man, thank you so much for the talk. Thank you. I'll see you soon, okay? Thanks. Thanks, man. And that was Horia, the creator of Horea. If you want more information about this brewer, I leave the Instagram handle below in the description. Give it a like to this video and leave a comment if you, if you, if you have any questions about this brewer. Um, I will definitely make more content about it, so I suggest you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Ciao!